Hey guys, welcome to Does Logic. This is the 18th video of the playlist that I have created for you guys on Adobe Illustrator for iPad. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, I will put the links in the description. You can check them out. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, in this video, I will try to explain the type panel in the panel section. And uh, it is available in the panel section. So let's tap on that. Here you can see there are three options like first one is outline text, second one is type on path, and the third one is edit path. So I will discuss these options one by one. So for that, let's tap on this type tool in the toolbar and tap anywhere on your artboard. like that and now tap on this type panel and tap on this outline text so now this text is converted into a shape and you cannot edit the uh, font anymore but you can change the shape of your text like for example if you want to change the length of this M. Let's select these both anchor points and drag them. You can also do that by tapping the small circle. So it will be increased in a straight line like that. So the second option in the type panel is the type on path. So let's create a path first. So tap on this pan tool and tap here like that now as you can see we have a curved uh, pen drawing and uh, let's create a text like that and now if you select both of them and then tap on type panel and here we select the type on path option and here we go so the text is now placed over the path that we have selected along with the text there are some couple of uh, things that you can do like on the left side let's drag this circle and drag from left to right and you can change the uh, position of the text over path and uh, so there are some couple of things that you can do like as you can see there is a small circle on the left so let's tap and drag left to right or along the shape you can change the position of the text over the path you can also change the area to be shown for this specific text on the path. You can also change the letter spacing, change the font size, text size, and uh, you can also tap on this type panel on the right side and tap on this edit path and you can now edit the path while keeping the text over it And uh, you can also uh, change the placement of the text on the lower side of the path by tapping on this direct selection tool. And as you can see, there is a circle on the left side of the text and just tap and drag downwards. And then drag these two circles like that and now the 
circle with two lines tap and drag tap and drag that and as you can see the text is now on the lower side of the uh, path so guys that's it for today i hope you like this video please make sure you subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one okay.